Come manifest your best life with 190 Vision. Proceed with caution. What are we talking about here? Let me explain something, because this has happened to me. When going through the trainings with 190 Vision, for me, I get really excited and I just want to push through and, and get things done and, and see results. And in one of the exercises, I was having fun and I was, well, I thought I was receiving all these messages. And it turned out that I wasn't really getting messages from my spiritual team, but from myself. Things that I was telling myself. It blew my mind a little bit and I'm like, okay, well that, that does explain some things why as soon as I thought of something, I, I had an answer for it and it was what I wanted or what I thought it should be. And that's where this proceeding with caution comes in. Because again, I can use myself as an example where I was trying so hard to be able to do some uh, something that my husband was training me on um, as far as being able to, again, communicate with my team to get guidance. And instead, I invited in a whole bunch of entities. And they ended up causing me to have a headache and feeling sick. And my husband had to do some clearing work on me. So proceed with caution. And for, from my standpoint right here, I will say patience. Be patient and just go with the process instead of trying to force it. Honey. As we would say, growing up, you know, and I think this is a Spanish word, but I'm not sure, but I know it's a Garifuna word. Okay. <laughs> I grew up with that. Um, pacencia. We say pacencia. Pacencia? Uh -huh. Patience. I figured. <laughs> I was like, it sounds like patience, but I'm uh, not going to assume. Right. So I'm not sure if it's a Spanish. You know, I, I, I know Spanish, but right. I'm not too sure if that's a Spanish word. More than likely it is because Griffin is tied to Spanish okay. as well. Anyway, uh, yes, you called me. I did, and I had a question, but I got so caught up in your story, I forgot my question. It was just a statement. It wasn't even a story, really. It was a great story well, to me, though. <laughs> what were you practicing when, when um, you were getting this information from yourself? I was practicing the tool of automatic writing. Oh, okay. All right, automatic writing. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that in the past, before you were being trained on automatic writing, you, you did something else because you would have all of these. All of a sudden, you have headaches, just like you mentioned. Yes. What were you doing then? I don't that's, recall. Well, that's when you were training me to be able to receive guidance on oh. how to help individuals. Okay. And that was premature, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. Very much so. That was before my husband learned how to be able to train individuals like myself whose abilities are like very dormant, shall we say. Uh, I would say it's not the abilities that are dormant. It's the connection. My connection. That, that's more, right. That's all. Even the connection isn't dormant. It, the connection it, just wasn't strong enough. Yeah, that's right. It was super long distance. <laughs> Connection. How is the connection super long? Distance? Well, when it back in the day when <laughs> they had regular landline telephones, long distance connections, there was this long lag or delay between the two individuals who were talking. Like I could say hello to you right now, and you might hear it a minute later on the other side of the world. That's what I was talking oh, about. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh yes, my dad worked. Growing in, up, I didn't have telephones. So well, my I dad worked with a telephone company, and he would tell us stories like that ah. with the first telephones and things. Got it. I guess like that at and commercial where all the guys are in the car, <laughs> picks up the phone, he says, hello, and then he looks, he starts laughing, then the next guy starts laughing, uh -huh. then the one guy with the at and connection, like, he starts laughing, like, we're not picking on any the, the companies or, or something, it's just a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> do you know that commercial? Yeah. I do, I do. Everybody yeah. else in the car got the message, like, instantly, and right. that guy kept trying to get a signal or uh, something. What are you guys laughing at? What are you looking right. at? You know, <laughs> and then finally it pinged, and everybody was already gone. <laughs> so it's like, I guess you know, that's a good way of describing it. Where sometimes you don't get the connection right away, or mm -hmm. you have the connection but you're trying too hard. Yes. So that's another one, right? As one of our, I'll say, my, our, our trainees put it, one of our participants in one of the 
classes, the earlier classes, the paradigm shift class uh -huh. um, or training, as she puts it, having a party at her house. <laughs> 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 so it, yeah, she's experienced this, right? Uh -huh. So anyway, so let's, let's go back a little bit. Um, of course, we're dealing with the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. And we should remember that there are many souls on the other side that are very excited to help us. I mean, they're just raring to go because they can see how many souls are here that require help. Mm -hmm. So whenever someone expresses interest in helping others, you know, either connect with their departed loved ones or um, healing, clearing, you know, just offering guidance, mentorship, they're always excited because they don't have a lot of people like that that will do it willingly, you mm -hmm. know? So they, they, they're ready to step up and train. The question then becomes though, how many of these souls on the other side are actually qualified to be spirit guides, to be mentors? And that's the thing that some of us don't think about. Okay? Well, I do because, know. Because keep in mind that just because you cross over to the other side, you go to the other dimension, mm -hmm. um, doesn't mean that you automatically qualify to be a spirit guide or for you to be giving guidance to someone. Because based on how far you've developed spiritually, there's only so much you can see into what we call the future. Now, in, in the spiritual realm, there is no future, right? Right. It's all happening. So that's why I qualify with, as we might term it, the future. Mm -hmm. You can only go into the other dimension so far. You can only see into other dimensions if you have that um, frequency already. So somebody can pass away, and just to give a visual, let's say there are 10 dimensions, right? then this person passes away and they only have the ability to be at the fifth dimension. They can't see beyond the fifth dimension. So whatever is beyond the fifth dimension, they don't have access to. And that's the way it works. When you get wherever that is up there, right? Whatever you call it. They can access fourth dimension. They can access fifth dimension, but not sixth dimension. Mm -hmm. So imagine this soul now comes and this soul is going to be your spirit guide. Or they want to be. Well, they're going to be because you invited them. We'll get to oh. that in a moment, right? And so now you go and you ask for guidance. Mm -hmm. How much guidance are you going to get? It's only based on the fifth dimension, the fourth and fifth dimension, because they can't see beyond the fifth dimension. So whatever advice they give you might not be the best advice because it's limited by how far they have access to or, or how high their access capabilities are. You follow okay. what I'm saying? I, I am. Mm -hmm. So individuals might not be aware of that. They might think that as soon as someone passes on and you know they go to wherever, let's say heaven, right? Mm -hmm. That they're, they're all knowing. That's not true. It's all based on your spiritual advancement okay. and, and how far you are. So how does that tie into this? Well, here you are. You're being trained by 190 Vision. Mm -hmm. And let's just go with Paradigm Shift, our first basic training, right? Mm -hmm. Because in there, they learn a lot. You know, they learn what, how to connect with their loved ones, right? Yes. They learn about the word of the day and um, automatic writing, which is the one. <laughs> so now, guidance. Here, here, here you are, you're doing automatic writing. Well, to do that, you're normally receiving information from your higher self or members of your team. Mm -hmm. If you, number one, you have to follow the process because we give you steps, right? You don't just sit there as you might watch a YouTube video and say, just sit there and do. That's not what we do, right? There's more to it than that. Right. So if you follow the process, you should be able to experience automatic writing the proper way because you're literally given the step. Here's step one. Here's mm -hmm. step two. Step three, right? But then we've had reports where individuals sit down and they start to have conversation doing the automatic writing. Uh -huh. Why are you smiling? <laughs> 
I, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> saying I've experienced anything like that. <laughs> okay. How about you go ahead and this is uh in the Catholic Church. I'm Father oh, George. Confession. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm behind a little thing there, you know, and you you enter. And so you go, Father George, forgive me for <laughs> whatever they say. <laughs> I've been to confession a lot of times. I don't remember what we say. Anyway, you've had this experience? It, sort of, yes, because okay. um, I remember going through the exercise, and it's, I, I don't know, what, remember what was written, but then I immediately questioned it. And it's like there was a dialogue back and forth because then I got another answer. So I had another question, got another answer. And it's like we just kept on having this conversation. <laughs> I thought, well, this is pretty cool. My team's really, I mean, they're right here. I'm really, yes, yes. And then like two days later, I had the other experience where I was giving myself, I found out it was me, myself, my ego, giving me my own uh, guidance. And I thought, holy cow. So what was the other one? I mean, it's like relatives supposedly came through. Oh, you know, this grandma and that aunt. And I was like, oh, this is really awesome. Now I'm I, after that whole experience, I, of course, it shook me. And I'm like, wait, I thought I did everything right. So why is it that maybe this isn't true or accurate? Well, how did and you find myself. out that it was not, that it was yourself? Well, because I told you about it, because it was a message supposedly from one of my uncles. And the only mm -hmm. reason why I questioned it was because, again, in the past, before I learned all these things, um, he, this one other spirit had come and attached itself to me because I had a headache all day and you're trying to figure out why. And you said, well, it's your uncle. And he says, he's here to guide you. He's one of your guides. I said, well, why would I have a headache? And it turned out that it wasn't my uncle, but a pseudo spirit guide who was trying to just step in and help me because they saw I wanted help. So because of that experience, when I had this automatic writing experience where it claimed to be my uncle, I immediately asked you about it because I wanted to know, is this that same spirit or someone else trying to step in under the guise of my uncle? And you said, no, that's actually a message you wrote yourself from yourself. <laughs> oh, great. So now I'm doing it to myself. <laughs> awesome. It's a good one. <laughs> right? It's funny the way you express it. <laughs> that's why I say it's a good one. <laughs> but you bring up you bring up the what I was headed to. So you have this habit of jumping ahead. You know, I, I <laughs> don't guess. mean to. Thank you for jumping ahead. So we'll get to that, right? The pseudo spirit thing. Okay. But why did that happen? You think? Which part? The part about the dialogue. What is supposed to happen? If, if you're getting word of the okay, let's start with, for example, word of the day. Yes. What do you think you'll be getting when you when you hear the term word of the day? I usually just get one word. Exactly, right? It's yes. not called line of the day. No. It's not called a sentence of the day. Or phrase. It's, or phrase. It's, it's just called what? Word. word. It's, it's one, one word. word. <laughs> 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 so if you start to hear a whole sentence, uh, you might be joining that, that team that my wife is on, where it's like, uh, team me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I go, there is no I in team. They say something like that. You know He's right. There's no I in the team. Or I don't remember, but yeah, there's like no that. I in team. Uh, so anyway, it's it. So let's go. Let's go back that, as an example. Word of the day. It just means you'll be getting one word, mm -hmm. not two, not three. Mm -hmm. One, plain and simple. It doesn't change. If it's more than one, something's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, because your guides know. Your higher self knows what word of the day means. Okay, so that's the first thing. Uh, next thing is automatic writing. Automatic writing is designed for you to communicate with your higher self. Now, it could be your team that will send you a message or your higher self, right? Or God, right? The mm -hmm. divine, the universe, whatever you want to term it. When that happens, what kind of information would you be receiving? That's a great question. You don't know? Uh, um, I think it would be guidance on how you should proceed with the day in exactly. accordance with your word of the day. Pretty Normally, much. that's how we do it. That's <clears> not, <throat> That's what happens. It's not what you do. Mm -hmm. If you literally follow the steps that are put there, um, that's what will happen. I mean, I've practiced word of the day, and mm -hmm. I, I have never gotten more than one word. I, I don't even get. I don't even get this. I don't even get like, go to sleep. 
you know, or go eat dinner. It's just like sleep or rest. Yeah? Yes. Why you? <laughs> Because you're like on this lightning no, speed connection no, no. and I'm still on this dial-up thing. <laughs> But that, that has nothing to do with it, right? The, the point is, we're, we're talking about this so individuals will know. Right. right? Um, for automatic writing, it's where you are receiving guidance for yourself. You're beginning to learn how to receive guidance on your own. Mm -hmm. Where there are certain things we don't have to tell you. You're, you're learning to strengthen that connection with your higher self, with your team, um, your departed loved ones later on, right? Mm -hmm. But when they communicate with you, it's going to be about you, not about anybody else, all right? They're not interested in anybody else, uh, unless it maybe it's your husband or your kids, right? Mm -hmm. But normally it will be about you, how, they, how they're helping you improve. Because first, as your favorite line goes, you have to what? take the plank out of your eyes, which mm -hmm. they're helping you to take out, right. before you can see the speck of dust in your neighbor's eye. If there is a speck of dust once exactly. you remove the plank. Like you said, and there might be nothing, right? <laughs> exactly. Might. So that's the point, that automatic writing is exactly that. It's, it's literally geared to help you, and you alone. So... And what will happen is the information will just flow. You know, you might ask one question. If you follow the instructions, you're fine, right? Mm -hmm. And then after that, the information just flows. And you, you're just allowing it to go. And when it's finished, it's finished. There is no dialogue that goes, there is none. It doesn't go back and forth, well, how about this and how about that? The moment you do that, you're not, you're not doing it right. <laughs> you have to clear your mind. <laughs> exactly. When you clear your mind, you're just receiving information. Mm -hmm. That's it. It doesn't go like this. Well, how about this? Could you tell me about this? No. When that happens, that's you. I don't care what you say. That's not your team. That is not your higher self. Because your higher self, it's like a dump. It just, dump the, it, it just dumps the information. Then it's done. Now you can go back and read it. I review it and say, oh, this, this, okay, finish. But it's not a dialogue ever. Okay. Any question about that? No. So if, if, so if someone decides to do it differently, then what are they doing? Because they're trying so hard, they're inviting other souls in that want to help them as much as they can. Okay, they don't, they're not trying to intentionally hurt anybody. Right. All right? And as far as they're concerned, they're, they're qualified. And they step in, and then you're there talking with this soul, having this great conversation, and you're writing it down. It's all exciting stuff. And they're asking questions like, oh, does my husband love me? <laughs> oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Or it might be, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Why is it one or the other? Because it depends on what you're already thinking. Oh, got it. Yeah? Got it right. This is to confirm what you're thinking. Is my husband cheating on me? Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Your husband might not even be cheating on you. But you just want confirmation of what you're thinking. So, whoever that soul is, they'll confirm that for you. You know, does my cousin like me? No, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. How about my aunt? Oh, your aunt hates you. Mm -hmm. And now you're convinced because guess where it's coming from? automatic writing so it must be and, 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 and someone who seems like they could be a reliable source because it matches with what you want <laughs> or what you think you might want exactly okay. so automatic writing is not for you to go and ask questions like is my child doing drugs you don't go asking questions like that mm -hmm. right or um, does my mom have a favorite child. Uh, who's, my, who's my mom's favorite child? You, you don't do that. And then, of course, if you're dealing with the, what we call the pseudo-spirits, they will give you an answer. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, well, it's not you. It's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're mad, right? Or if you think you are, then they'll say, oh, you are the favorite. Oh, yeah, you are definitely the favorite. And you are so happy. So they'll give you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay? So... You should not try hard. The way this works is you clear your mind. And this doesn't apply just to automatic writing or... It's to any of the methods. Anything, right? Mm -hmm. Anything 
regarding connecting with your higher self or your team. Mm -hmm. You have to quiet that mind. And so you have to go into that space where now your mind is pretty much dormant. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, it's not taking over. It's not trying to get questions answered. And there is no dialogue because it's, it's just receiving information from the master, right? Which mm -hmm. is the higher self, you know, or God, or your spirit guides, the real spirit guides. So there is no party at your house, you know, mm -hmm. as uh, I talked about before. And I said, there is no party. You're not going to invite all these spirits and say, oh, come, come to my house because I'm ready to hear from you guys. And you could tell me anything and I'll share information with you. And you guys are having this big party with just all wrong information. Okay. Does that help? It helps me. Proceed <laughs> with caution. <laughs> Now, we always talk about you, you have to protect yourself and mm -hmm. astral protection, yep. but keep in mind that at the basic level, even with the protection that you request, you can override that with your free will. Because you can say, oh, yeah, I have, I have this, uh, I have Archangel Michael here. Mm -hmm. Wait, Archangel Michael, step aside because all my friends are here. They're <laughs> fine. So don't worry. I'm fine. We're just going to have a nice conversation. Just, just sit on the sideline and watch us converse. And so then he steps aside and let you have your great conversation with all the wrong information. <laughs> yep, because you and your free will, I know better than Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. So if you were to summarize, or summarizing this, what would you tell someone when you talk about proceed with caution? Relax. Have patience. Clear your mind. And definitely avoid trying to force anything. Because if you want that real connection to develop, it will take time. I know. I've been doing this for years, and it's still going. <laughs> we'll see you again. Remember to subscribe and like this YouTube video or Spotify podcast. Join the Facebook group 190 Vision to connect with others who are on a similar journey. Get help by visiting our website, 190vision.com, then click on the Help Me tab. Support the 190 Vision mission by clicking on the Donate button, which is located at the bottom of each page of our website.